Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, we are building a new character. Faruzan is finally being built on my account. This character is kind of an odd character. She's been out for quite a while and to be honest, I kind of just forgot she existed. But now, I've come around to her. Today, we're going to build Faruzan. We're going to try to maximize everything she is able to do and build her in the best possible way we can. Without further ado, let's get in to the video. So Faruzan is a character, a wind AoE damage dealer who can kind of group enemies together and also debuff them if we decide to use the Viridescent set on her. She is actually a pretty decent character at C6, however at C0 she is not so good. Luckily for us though, we got the Constellation 6, so that means we don't have to bother with using her charge shot to create a pressurized collapse which is the effect that she triggers in order to group enemies together. Hopefully our Faruzan will actually be somewhat capable is what I'm hoping. But I haven't tried this character out before, so I don't know 100% if she still will be. But the only way to find out is by leveling her up. Let's find out what materials we need. First thing we obviously need for any character is we're gonna need EXP books. Luckily for us, we got a 136 hero wit book and 284 adventurers experience book. Our Mora is sitting at a good 3.9. And the next thing we would need is some faded red headbands. We have 242 of the grays, 76 of the greens, 13 of the blues, we are sitting pretty in that regard. For her world material, she needs Hunna Berries, which if I can find them, I have 70 of these. I'm gonna need a tiny bit more, so we may have to do some co-op popping for these. And then the most important material of all, her boss material, we're still a little low on. We currently have 18. We need a couple more than that. I believe it's around 25, 26 is what you need to fully ascend a character. So let's go and kill the algorithm of the semi transient major network, overseer network. I honestly don't think they could have came up with a more excruciating name for a boss than they did with that one. Anyways, let's switch to a team that doesn't have just Faruzan and actually a capable team to kill this boss. This is one of the easiest bosses, honestly probably in the entire game. I can speed run this boss in 0.2 seconds. Watch this. Okay, 0.2 seconds is up, but we can go for 0.3. We do two Ayaka hits. We do Shenha Burst, we do Ayaka Burst, and then we do Shenha E, Ayaka E, and it's already dead. Just like that, it's that simple. Now give me three of the boss mat. Let's go, we got three. And a terrible attack for Sand Goblet that I'll never use. Well, a little unfortunate. Well, while we wait for that boss to respawn, why don't we start grinding some of those dastardly henna berries? Here we go. Alrighty, and with that, we should have all the henna berries we need. And just like that, we're going to return to our own world. And with our return... Oh, the boss still isn't here. Bro, I've been gone for like 30 minutes. How are you not back? Are you back now? Aha, there you are. I can see your little glowy outline. You can't hide from me, coward. Time to actually beat this boss in 2.5 seconds. Never mind, the 2.5 seconds is up. I failed again. Next time, I'll get him. Alright, let's here we go. Kazuha burst. Shenha E into the Ayaka burst and you die. Bang, easy peasy. Give me three again, come on, be nice. Come on, let's go, we got three again. And the God Flower? No, that's definitely not the God Flower. All right, and with that, we now have 24 light guiding tetrahedrons. That means we only need two more in order to get our Farzan to level 80, which is our goal. I guess it's time to sit here and count down the minutes until the boss respawns. If this is an invigorating gameplay, I don't know what is. Let's go, the boss is back. Time to kill him once again. Here we go, zoom Kazuha. Let's kill this man again. This time we're really gonna get the 2.5 second run. Okay, I'll give myself 25. Actually, give me 30, give me 30. And big Ayaka burst, come on. Finish him off. One Ayaka burst and we're done. Man, that guy really needs to be more challenging. Let's claim our award. Only two that time, but two was all we needed. 
and we got a really great HP sands. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, well, with that all done, we have now got everything we could possibly need for our Faruzan, and it's time to start leveling her up. Currently, she is at level 40, but we want her all the way at level 80. Let's start on the Ascension quest. Level 70, and I can't ascend her to level 80. I swear to God, one day I'm going to remember to actually craft these things. One day I'm going to remember. It's honestly just becoming kind of iconic of this series to forget crafting the damn amethyst chunks because I forget it every time. And now we can ascend her to level 80. Let's go. To level 80, you go. Ascended. Let's go. Her ascension stat was attack percent, which is a little bit weird to me. I feel like she doesn't really scale with attack percent but i guess we'll see i actually don't know if i'll have enough exp books um i hope 274 is enough uh is it oh shoot it's not wait we're so close i need like four or five more of these purple books shoot luckily we did get two more quaint fates from that if you guys don't know when you ascend your faru's on it's actually guaranteed that you're gonna get a five star on your acquaint paint poles that you get from it as seen here Okay, not a 5-star, but you're guaranteed to get an OP 4-star. Uh, good enough, I guess. But that one was a fluke poll. This is the actual 5-star because every time you ascend your Faruzan, guaranteed 5-stars are a treat. Never mind. Anyways, we need EXP books. Uh, uh, this event doesn't give EXP books. I beat this event already. I beat this one already. The test run? I mean, I guess I can do get 6 EXP books from Yao Yao's. That's not enough, though. I don't have any resin. Oh, I have an idea. Teapot. I think I have a couple coins saved up, so I should be able to buy some EXP books from the Realm Depot. Yes, I can. I think I probably only need like five at the most. Five should be good. And for everyone in the comments who's probably screaming at me that I have these, they're not enough. Even with 77, it wouldn't have been enough. But this should be enough. Okay, almost. I just need to use a couple of my Wanderer's advice. And there we go. Now we have a level 80 Faruzan. Very nice. Next thing we have to worry about, her weapon. I believe her best in slot, if I'm not mistaken, is that Favonius Warbo. She has a lot of energy problems. I think a couple of those I've probably been able to curve with her constellations. For example, her c4 helps with energy regeneration so i don't know if the favonius warbo is as necessary now i'm honestly thinking we go something like fading twilight instead of favonius because i don't really want to build her with crit rate it's i kind of want to go full em or maybe some energy recharge and ammo damage so i think i'm actually going to go with the fading twilight for damage and a tiny bit of energy recharge but not the most amount in the world and there we go, we now have a weapon for our Faruzan. Next thing we're going to need is an artifact set. Now I understand that her best in slot set is going to be that four piece Veerdescent. So we're going to want some very good Veerdescent pieces. We want to prioritize stats like energy recharge, crit rate, crit damage, and attack percent. Those are going to be our four best stats. I could opt to go for an EM build, but I kind of want to more focus on her personal damage rather than our elemental reaction damage. So let's try to get her on a crit build instead of an elemental reaction build so this one has attack percent crit damage crit rate that sounds good to me we have one here with energy recharge crit rate crit damage that also sounds really good to me we have a crit rate hat with crit damage energy recharge and then this one has crit damage attack em but i think we'll go energy recharge i feel like recharge is a tiny bit more important as for her cup we're gonna need something with animo damage bonus obviously we have three options here we have this one which has 18 recharge five crit rate 20 crit damage and then some dead stats and then a ton of good stats so i think i'll definitely go with this one this one definitely seems like the best option last thing we need is just really any viridescent feather and i think i'll go with this one right here with some crit rate crit damage now let's see what she looks like after getting our four piece viridescent on her 65 129 not terrible 201 recharge i say this is a pretty evenly built faruzan not the best you've probably ever seen but it's definitely not a bad build at all. I think she'll do probably just enough recharge and just enough damage to keep us alive. Next thing we're gonna have to do is start leveling up her talents. I'm not gonna worry about her normal attack. I know for most Faruzan builds, you actually do wanna level up her normal attack, but because I have the C6, I'm not gonna bother with her normal attack. So let's level up her E first and then her burst. 
And obviously, because we have that nice C6, we're also going to get three extra levels on both of our talents. And I actually have pre-grinded the mats to not take them to level 10. Oops, uh, I need to get some of these red brochets. I think I should have enough to craft them. Let me check. Do I have enough to craft them? Oh gosh, I might not. Act oh, no, never, never, never mind. I definitely do. I have so many. I have so many trim red silk headbands. I definitely have enough here. Let's just craft 20 of them. Why not? Bing, bang, boom. There we go. We got 20 headbands. I didn't even get any doubles. Kind of sad. But we're going to get both her skill and her burst up to that level 10 level. There we go. Level 10 on each. All right, and I think that is our finish for Aruzan. 10-10 on the talents. Constellation 6, 4-piece Fear Descent. We got her on the Fading Twilight. And if you guys are interested, here are all her stats. 65 crit rate, 130 crit damage, 201 recharge, and 60% animo damage bonus. Also rocking 1200 attack and 37 EM. Now, why don't we start testing out our Faruzan? Now, usually in these videos, I like to test out my characters against big bosses. However, since Faruzan is a unit who is going to want to face large groups of enemies and try to group them together, we are actually going to go and try her in the Spiral Abyss instead. We are going to try her in an earlier stage of the Spiral Abyss because I feel like floors 12 and 11 aren't a good example of what Faruzan is able to do since they are very difficult and require very certain team compositions. So instead, we're going to do something that's more plausible like floor 9, which has multiple enemies which will be able to group together and Faruzan will really be able to highlight what she can do. Second half, we're just going to throw some characters in there. As for the first half, because we didn't build an EM base Faruzan, I want to try her in a team with double Animo, double Geo, like for example, Zhao, Faruzan, Albedo, and Zhongli. Usually this wouldn't be the best composition for her, but because we built a Faruzan for damage rather than for EM base purposes, this is actually not a bad composition. So let's go in and try this out. Here we go, we'll get elemental skill damage and let's try it out. Let's put down her E and then we're gonna put down her burst. And this is gonna start absolutely destroying enemies. You can see the little thingy just kind of traveling around the map. It's actually really fun. It's a little random, but it's actually really cool. Look at, look, look at the little thing travel around. I definitely didn't put it in the greatest position ever. It definitely could have been improved the positioning, but it wasn't really the worst thing ever. And we could do the charge shot, get them all to group together. Oh, look at that, that's so much fun. And let's do this. Where the, where the thingy go? Oh, there it is. And while that's going on, we can also do Zhao Burst and start obliterating things. They're all getting hit by Faruzan's big... I don't even know what to call that. Triangular ball thingy. That thing lasts a long time, too. It stays on the field for a ton of time. Let's try that again in Floor 10. Floor 10 is a little bit harder and has more enemies, but I want to try Faruzan again and see if she still is able to hold up in Floor 10. We're going to use the exact same composition we used before. Also, I'd like to mention that for some reason, I thought Farazon would be better for grouping. She's still not bad at it, but she can definitely be a little bit better. She's obviously no Kozla or no Venti, but she's still fairly capable. We got increased elemental burst damage, and then let's do this, and now we can group them all together. Look at that. Very good stuff, Farazon. 35k on that hit, by the way. That's pretty insane. I wish you could really control where this thing went. If we had Kazuo, I think it would be a lot better, but with just Farazon by herself, it is kind of difficult. But look at that. 8k, 8k. Like, that's not bad damage. Bang, and... Bang! Oh, that it didn't crit. <laughs> and get him. 4K. Let's put, okay. Let's put down the burst in the middle this time. I think that'll help us out. There we go. 30K on the burst entry. That's pretty good. When you have a bunch of elements coming together, it's actually really nice. Get them all together. Ooh, look at that damage. And then we can finish them off with Zhao because they're all together now. And look at that. Put it the Zhongli pillar. Do this. Let's go, Farazan. And we're gonna group them together. Look at that. Look at that. Big burst. Ooh, that's a big hit. Get, get together, enemies. Yeah. Let's go. That's a cool move. I really like it. And plus, you can use it twice because it gives two stacks every time you do it. Also, it increases our crit damage because of our passive. And there you go. And with that, you guys just saw a fully built Faruzan in action. Definitely not what I would say is the best animo character in the world. To be honest, Sucrose completely outclasses her in every single way imaginable. Sucrose is way better at grouping together enemies. She is just generally a better debuffer. 
She has talents that really help exploit the enemy's weaknesses. Faruzan lacks a lot of those things, so she's more of an animo DPS rather than somebody who is going to provide you with elemental reactions and help you debuff enemies or reduce resistances. However, I still think Faruzan is a fun character at C6, but if you have a Faruzan, I definitely don't think you should sleep on her. But with that all being said, that is going to be the end of our video for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more in the future like this, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.